All right, all day you guys have been sending us your questions. You're asking about the effects of this chemical benzene and what it could do to your health. I'm joined now by Dr. Carlos Vital. He is here. He's an allergist. Thanks. He's going to answer those questions, offer us some medical advice because I know a lot of people have a lot of concern. Absolutely. So the first thing I want to ask is, have you been hearing from patients that you say you normally that didn't experience respiratory right. problems we've been, before we've been this. hearing from about we, we had about five patients mm -hmm. who came in who never had respiratory symptoms before although they did have allergies and they came in and said they had acuteness uh, acuteness of shortness of breath and they also had a lot of secretions in their eyes and they had headaches and so that's kind of how i was able to delineate that maybe this could be due to the acute exposure um, what were some of those symptoms besides, uh, you said that they had allergies, but how did they know that there was a difference in what they were feeling? Well, the biggest thing with, 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 with these five patients is that they never had anything like shortness of breath ah. or chest tightness. Uh -huh. uh, two of them actually had some wheezing. And so uh, when they came in and I evaluated them, I was like, oh, wow. And so the, the big thing is right now the pollens are high as well. The mm -hmm. oak pollen is high and also the grass pollens. Mm -hmm. And so, but the biggest thing I was able to differentiate between those patients is the actual symptoms because there's no true way to test uh, for the acute exposure, toxic exposures on those patients when they mm -hmm. come in. But the, the symptoms was the thing that uh, kind of alerted me. And, and that was my question. The timing is, is definitely interesting right. because people's allergies have been acting up. I mean, exactly. a lot of us in the newsroom have been complaining about allergies right. for a while. Um, we're nowhere near the Deer Park area, so we're just kind of wondering what it is. Right. Um, if people think they may have been exposed to that, is the best thing to do is to call, call their doctor, I'm assuming. Yeah, call their doctor. The first thing you need to do is the biggest thing is to kind of take your clothes off that you had outside uh -huh. and wash yourself. Yes. Basically, the solution to pollution is dilution. So uh, wash your clothes, wash, your, wash all of the extra uh, particulate matter off. Wash your hair. Uh, wash your hair, uh -huh. right. And then after that, uh, put some more clothes on, call your doctor, see if you can come in and uh, make an appointment uh, to your healthcare provider. Are there any symptoms in particular that, that are especially worrisome, like that would send a person to an ER? The biggest symptoms is if you have, uh, you can have a nausea and vomiting, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so nausea and vomiting is uh, what you, which you can kind of see from xylene exposure. Uh, as well as if you have uh, acute headaches, um, also if you're feeling dizzy, right, a lightheaded, right, and also if you have real acute shortness of breath, you really need to uh, kind of check it out and go to the ER. Some patients are even having a little bit of hives and rashes as well. So. All right, good to know. Dr. Carlos Vital, thank you so much.